That's your weather forecast. It's Wednesday. It's time for this week's Weather Wednesday. For that, I'll send it over to Tavian Whitehurst. Back on Monday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released a report detailing August, the summer, and much of the year to date. And that's been a crazy one, as you've probably realized. You're taking a look at billion dollar disasters across the country this year, and there's a new record 23. We've got 18 severe weather events across months of the country, two floods in the Northeast and in California, Hurricane Adalia that came into the Big Bend of Florida, the historic fires in Hawaii, and even a winter storm here up into the Northeast. Not to mention, we had Hurricane Hillary, which which we're still waiting for the numbers on, and we also noticed extreme heat due to the heat dome that came into the middle of the country. Severe heat and drought coming into this area and lots of extra rainfall coming into the regions around it. August with the ninth warmest month on record and this summer was the 15th hottest on record. But where does that leave us here in East Tennessee? Well, in terms of temperatures coming off of a fairly cool springtime, we actually hit average on the dot in both July and August. So this summer actually ended up tanking us a bit below average as well because of a below average June, but we did have 1790 degree days. When it comes to rainfall, we came off of a very dry spring to a very wet summer. You see almost seven inches in the month of August that brought us over five inches above average and leaving us above average in the overall tally. Now, where does that leave us heading into this fall and winter? Well, fall is technically our dry season, so hopefully El Nino does not come in to exacerbate those conditions and we can keep getting a good amount of rainfall like we've been seeing so far because we haven't had any drought yet. Well, if you have a weather question, let us know. Text us at 865-637-1010, and we will do our best to get you answers every Wednesday right here on Channel 10.